Hiya everyone, I hope you're keeping well. I'm keeping well. Um, I've been a little bit quiet online, mostly because of work, so I'm working full time and now when I get back from work, I'm absolutely shattered. And then on the weekends, we did a lot of traveling, as you know, to Martin's parents, but we've just started to get our weekends back a little bit and we've been just sticking together and just doing things and planning things for the wedding. I am getting married tomorrow. Up until now, this last week has been so scary because we didn't think we were going to get to get married because obviously everything with the lockdown and but we've booked it, it's in Gretna Green and um, the registrar rang, they're going to marry you, it's all good and then over there you can still have the hotel and the wedding meal so I don't know, so lucky and then my friend said that Nicola Sturgeon might be locking down on Tuesday so if that is the case it was meant to be in and out like super lucky it's going ahead Um, I didn't want to come on here and tell you because at the time I didn't think it was going to go ahead and I thought if I come on and say I'm getting married and then it doesn't it's just like it, I didn't want to tempt fate but it looks like it's really going ahead now but I have had a horrible week I've not slept I've been that excited um, like four in the morning like, ping I need to get up and do stuff I'm like got this nervous energy um, and I had a me, me mum she can't make it so she rang us last night and she was telling us how beautiful I look like a princess she can't wait to see what Jordan and Martin think of me dress and all of that kind of stuff and um, she actually had us in absolute tears I'm just bubbing my heart out my eyes are crappy today and they've not changed like I look like an alien this morning though that puffy of crying so hard Never ever had puffy eyes that bad from crying, but they were really, really puffy, really horrible. So I was going to do a makeup video for you today. I was going to show you the look I'm going to be wearing for my wedding. It's going to be really simple, but my eyes look like crap and I'm not even kidding. And since you last saw us, I have had my hair dyed. I do need to wash it. It's all bed heady. I've just totally chilled out today. I've deliberately not washed my hair up until I'm going to wash my hair today. I'm not washing it tomorrow on the day of the wedding because I think fresh washed hair doesn't style as well. So if I do it today, this is the method and the madness because I'm not very good at styling and I'm doing my own makeup and I've got to do my own hair because there's nobody there to do it for us. So I've got me straighteners. I'm going to take my GHD straighteners. I'm going to curl the hell out my hair. I'm going to pin it up. I don't know if I want to keep it down or up. I really don't know. But... Um, yeah, I, I'm over the moon with the colour. It doesn't. It looks much better than this one. It's properly clean. It's quite dark coming through now. I've had this for about oh, let's see, because you haven't seen us. I haven't seen anyone. It's crazy. I haven't uh, been on here for about four weeks. I want to say four weeks. So yeah, you haven't seen this, have you? I've gone different, completely different from what I used to look like. Um, but yeah, I've also lost um quite a bit of weight. I was ten, 10 stone 12, pretty, well, well, like nearly 11, 11 stone on October 5th, October the 11th. And then I thought, right, come on, get a grip, do it. And I went, I'm doing keto. I love keto. I've done it before in the past and it's kind of where I feel naturally eating wise. It's the best thing for me to get rid of sugar cravings. I can't do calorie counting where I can have a little bit of this. No. Once I've got a taste of chocolate, that's it. I'm after it all day. So keto was brilliant for me because I, I don't have the cravings. It took a good two weeks, mine to get shot of them. I'll I'll be I'll be honest. It took a good two weeks of feeling like I could just eat something. And when I'm at work, they're all eating chocolate and donuts and jelly be jelly bean jelly things. And oh, honestly, it's hard. It really is hard. But I've persisted with it. I've stuck to it, and I've lost. I think it, I'm now ten stone two, ten stone two point five, two point eight, which is brilliant. I'm going to take that. I would say ten stone three, but I'm going to say two point eight because I saw them on the scales. So that is not a bad loss considering I'm still having red wine. I haven't cut that out at all. I still have red wine. Um, I haven't. I cut, my biggest carb monster thing is chips. I love potato chips. Um or like fries, I don't know where you are in the world, but we call them chips, so we do oven chips, but yeah, fries, love potato, just adore potato in any form, but I've had to pack it in, and we're on celeriac, and I love celeriac fries, I've actually enjoyed them a bit more, so we've been having weird, weird meals, weird meals, meals that we've never had before, like fennel celeriac, um, loads of creamy spinach, and curry, and oh, and the weight's just come away lovely. I'm so pleased with myself. 
and I walk to work every morning so I'm getting a good amount of exercise, a good 30 to 40 minute walk and then we've just yesterday we've got the weekend off and then we're off all week for the wedding and then we'll weekend again and we went stomping right around South Shields, passed up the coast and along the beach so we were knackered, slept like baby as well, he did. I was awake thinking of the wedding again because <laughs> I'm a steward but yeah it's great I'm so excited I can't wait I want to show you my dress but I want to upload this video today so I can't because you'll see it but I promise you I will upload a photo well I'll upload a video as soon as I'm done as soon as we got married I'll do the makeup look that I'm going to do because I'm still not sure yet I'm going to just see on the day what I do I want something nice and fresh and bright because I'm not a heavy makeup girl Martin says, do whatever you want, go all out. He says, just have fun with it. And I was thinking, I would like to, but I don't know if it's me. So for me wedding day, I'm probably going to keep it light and simple. So I'm going to do a look for you afterwards. And I'll be wearing my wedding dress so I can show you. Because I love my wedding dress. It fits like a glove. I had a bit of a problem. I don't know if I told you, but I bought a one from the internet. And it come from China. The first one was... Oh, now who was it? JJ's house, fantastic. Customer service, lovely. So I bought the dress. It came, it came you know, in a couple of weeks time because it's coming all the way from China. Um, it, it did fit, it just wasn't, it wasn't wedding -y. It looked more like a ball gown and I wasn't really, I didn't, it wasn't gelling with us. So bless them, they gave us, um, a, you know, returns labels and everything. I sent it back off, got me refund fully. Um, Hubios, I think it was, the second one I bought the dress from, that was £150, it was absolutely stunning, and I'm not kidding, it was stunning, it came and it didn't even fit anywhere close at all, it was like so tight, it was just, it, there wasn't, there was no way I was even going to get the thing up, like nothing, um, and I was panicking because obviously the wedding's coming up and I had nothing to wear, so we went to Gate said there's a place called I Do, lovely shop. They were open, they had this booked in. Obviously, you've got to wear your masks or wearing a wedding dress with your mask on. You're not exactly getting the full picture, but um, told them my budget. Martin, bless him, he says, Right, go on, go and, go and enjoy yourself, just don't take the mick. Um, bless. So I went in and asked them my budget, and it was a lot of money. It was £500, which was me bonus, like was me budget. No going ahead of that because we we haven't spent much on the wedding, so I could you just get yourself a really nice wedding dress. And we've spent on the rings and the wedding dress stuff that I'm going to keep. And when I got in there, the trying a few dresses on for us. It was a one woman, I think she was Doreen, and um, I think it was Doreen. But there was two that I loved the look of, and I was I was agonising for weeks late, like eight, days later, you know, about which dress I've picked and have I picked the right one. The anxiety that comes from doing a wedding is nasty. Oh, it's real it's scary the the Gretna green package it's all been sorted Martin did all that he sorted it all out I just had to get my wedding dress and honestly I've drove myself crazy thinking have I picked the right one but I think I have I hope you like it you'll see it when I'm all done um I hope Martin likes it as well I love it I, I'm thinking how on earth I'm gonna have to wear it to work to Asda to wherever I go because I want to get my money's worth and it's a stunning but it's it's something I had in my head that I wanted the look and I managed to get it and it a little bit of alterations later and it fits like a glove because it was a bit slack and I was worried because it well it was really slack and the booby area was like out here so it was the girl that did it oh I can't remember her name Andrea Andrea did the alterations so I went she kept the dress done all that and I got a phone call to come pick it up so I've got it all but I think you've got. I think the thing with internet buying with the dresses is, you've got to remember you're probably going to need maybe it's two sizes bigger than you are, just because the email responses I got off them when I wanted to send the second one back was it fits our fake model. I'm not a fake model, and it was nowhere near the size that they'd, they'd said it was. And if you're going to sell to the UK, you should provide services to send things back without it being awkward. And it was going to cost £300 to send it back. And I thought, no. So I just reported through PayPal because they weren't budging, they were being funny. Um, and they ended up saying, right, keep the dress and give you half your money back. And I thought, fair enough. So I've got two wedding dresses now. 
which I'll probably fit into that one now because I've lost nearly a stone. But I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even looking at it. I'm going to try it afterwards for a laugh. But I've got my dress, which I love. I'll show you them both for fun. If you want to see them, let us know. Be funny. Anyway, I got also in the midst of all this because I've been trying my best to get them. My PO box has been really hard because of the hours that they're open. But I got lovely things sent. There's been some great things sent in the post. Um, um, here are a few bits and bobs that I think you will we'll, we'll make the most from. And this is clay. I haven't forgot about you. And I'm sorry if you've been waiting to see if I'm going to, um, like, you know, pick up your things. My PO box is working. Don't worry about that. I'm just kind of slow at getting to it because I'm working. And when they're open, I'm at work and vice versa. But I had to send my boss with some ID for these lot. So um, I got this from Clay. And I, th I think it's absolutely stunning. I'll show you them. It's a little package. And then I've got some other things to show you from my little friend James. So Lauren, I've always considered myself lucky to call you my friend. Especially after watching your videos back in 2008, 2009. When I was going through such a bad time in my life. You were my friend, friendly face and um, voice behind the screen when I needed it most. And I've always been so grateful. You deserve nothing but happiness and love in your life. As you've been a light and so many others like mine so much love to you as always Claire now Claire when I first read this I bawled my eyes out I really did because it's so lovely and that's a little card I got from her isn't that lovely and then she sent a little bit of makeup to play with so this is love I'll show you so we've got this here a little blush life's a peach all fantastic can't wait to play with that look at the colour of that isn't that lovely it is stunning and that's sleek makeup I love sleek makeup products. I've got a few bits and pieces now and I really like them. And then these here, tattoo liner. And this is, hang on, where is it? It's just a waterproof liquid. It's water, oh, waterproof, good. Just a waterproof liquid liner. I don't know what that, I don't know where this just, just tattoo liner. It doesn't say what it is. I'm not sure. It's black. Trooper. It's called Trooper. No idea. That'll be fun to have a go off. And then this one here. Maybelline Hyper, S Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. Oh, I love that. Look at that. You can never have enough eyeliners. I'm finally getting my way through the glossier ones. That's quite nice, that. Oh, yeah. That is nice. That'll produce a lovely winged line. I'm still not too sure. You know, I've got two looks in my head to do for my wedding, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with colour sensational lip liner and I absolutely love that colour if any of you know me I'm very vampy lip look love the dark ones just stunning either light or dark not and nothing in between because then I just I don't know and then I've got two lipsticks here this one's called bold very bossy very bossy 886 look I think yeah colour sensational that's Maybelline look at that isn't it stunning do I dare put that on for me wedding or is that a bit too dark? I think I might stick with something quite light. I still don't know, you know, and I haven't got a clue how I'm going to do my hair because I don't do hair. I just don't do hair. So I'm going to just curl it and pin it up and I've got stuff to put in it. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really nervous. Look at that. That's practically black. It's called pitch black. Oh, pop a vampy. Look at that. That is going to be fun. I have to do a vampy look for that one. Then this year, it's Kat Von D. I think it's Kat Von D. Is it Kat Von D? Yes, it is. It's 10 year anniversary eyeshadow palette. The colours in here are amazing. And I mean, eyes went straight to. See if you can guess. Can you guess which one my eye went straight to? This one here. I just looked at it and thought, oh, so I've got my eye on the golds, the browns and the green. So I can't wait to do something with them. Green's a funny colour for me. I used to wear it well and then I stopped wearing it well. I don't know what happened. But it might, we'll, we'll see. And then this here. This is really strange. I don't know what it is. It's called Urban Decay Solstice Eyeshadow. I think it's a, I think it's a cream. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. It's like a cream base. It's like MAC Blue Brown. Lovely. But it's got pink and pink. Oh, it's really, really, really nice. Love. Absolutely love that. And then, so thank you very much, Claire, for these. 
really lovely really appreciate it i'll do some looks with them they're changing the way um what they're going to change the way what hours are at work so hopefully i'm going to have some weekdays free so i can do some videos because I, I do love being on here it's just it's just been really hard to get on because when i come on i don't want to force a video i want to feel like i want to be on here otherwise it's just gonna use know yourselves you know when i'm not right because you can tell you'll tell us you're like lauren you're not right so i don't want to like push myself on here if i didn't feel like i really wanted to come on so and i before then it, it'd been hard because it was I didn't talk about it properly then but it was Martin's dad he passed away and that's why we would had such a bad time it was a bereavement in the family it was so yeah it was a horrible time so that was why I didn't come on there before and then things have just there's been so much going on since but um Martin's all right he's all right anyway lash goals James sent me these the fantastic can't wait to play. I might even play them. Um, oh, I don't know. Shall I put them on my wedding? <gasps> I think that's a bit much. I think I'd be like, I feel like I, um, no, I don't think I'd really see out my eyes if I put them on. But these ones here are quite nice. These are Darren. Look at them. They're lovely. And then, oh no. I've got dirty nails. You know when you put, um, I put dry shampoo and it's the dark one. And then I'm doing that. <laughs> oh no. Right, okay. So this one. Hang on. Fias. Lovely, them ones. And then drama. They're nice. And then these ones are slay. Slay? I think these are slay. Slay. They're lovely. These are lovely, James. Thank you very much for these. Right, I think that's enough now. I can't. I don't want to keep you any longer. Oh, I'll no. I can't show you my shoes. Can I show you my shoes? Shall I show you my shoes or shall I just keep it all to the next? I'm going to keep it all to the next video. So you've got something in there. Um, I don't think I've got anything else to put together. No. Got some lovely things. I don't know if I can reach. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to be putting some port because I'm feeling much more confident as well about me figure because I was putting a bit too much weight on. I'm going to start, I'll probably do some more um, stuff on Instagram. R loads of people have asked for it in the past. I've just never wanted to go on there and they do like, not fashion shoots or anything, but like what I'm wearing, stuff like that. I'll probably do a little bit of that. We've got this off Lisa, my friend Lisa Doran, she's lovely. And look at that, isn't that lovely? So we're going to keep that. We've had loads of poor stuff for a lot of years, but we haven't opened it because it's to Mr. and Mrs. Buxton. Martin can't wait to wear his ring. Honestly, I've never seen I've never seen someone so excited. He, proper, proper, proper giddy, like a kid. I'm not even kidding. It's lovely to see. He's like, I, he was because at work, I keep, I keep thinking, oh, oh, I'm getting like hot. Is it um, is it the virus coming? Something awful is going to happen. I'm going to get get married, and honestly, this week's been like running a gauntlet for the pair of us. Um, and I kept thinking, have I got something? Have I got something? And then I had a bit of a runny nose, and I thought, oh no. And it's, there's nothing. It's just because I'm at work, and the, the the grout and adhesive gets up my nose, and I'm like, it's probably like an allergic reaction. But I'm thinking, is it? Is it? I don't know. Or oh, oh no, another compound, Martin. I hope it's not starting. Is there something going on? And um, he's like, will you pack it in? You're fine, man. I'm going to drag you up the aisle no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so Jordan's got his suit I'm going to post loads of pictures for afterwards we're hoping to film it because we need to film it for his daughter Shannon she's now she's out in Australia so she can't be with her um so we're going to film it and I'll hopefully put it on YouTube as well so you can have a look and, and there'll be loads of pictures but um yeah anyway right I'm going to go because it's 19 minutes long that's a long time but I hope you are all keeping well let us know leave a comment um yeah, and you should be getting a video update in a couple of days' time after the wedding. Really hope you're, in, hope you're keeping well. Take care. See you in a bit. Zoom, zoom.